Good morning, baby. <coughs> you ready to go eat? Come on, let's go find Mama and have some breakfast. Welcome to Hub City Homestead, everybody, where we are homesteading small. Your cute baby. Time for this baby's breakfast. So it was so cold when this baby was born, and we just could not feel comfortable leaving her out at night. <laughs> and so we toyed with the idea of, of a bottle, making her bottle baby. But Lucy is such a great mom. And so when we, um, so for the first day, we actually kept baby in the house the whole day, almost the whole day. We did bring her out to feed off Lucy. Um, and then we brought her back in because it was just so dang cold. And then, but then we just bring her out and Lucy just feeds her and loves on her. And she's so happy to have her baby back. I think she tries to, she's making sure she's a baby every time. And so what we do is we'll move them over into their own pen. Hi Lucy, move you in, oh big yawn, yeah. Good morning. So we'll move them into their own pen during the day. Baby can get some sunshine, be with mama. We're, we're far enough along that uh, baby stays out most of the day. Um, we're still a little worried about the night, so we take her in for the night and, uh, and then bring her back out in the morning. And Lucy is so good about it. You're such a good girl. Oh, big yawn. Oh, should we go to the other? Let's go to the other pen. Yeah, let's go over to the other pen. Follow mama, baby. You gonna let her? Are you gonna let her eat? <laughs> We're gonna do this just for a couple of more days, and then we'll leave them in together, because baby's getting big enough and warm enough that she thinks she'll be all right. So, hey guys, you coming? You coming, baby girl? I got cookie. Come get cookie. Come get cookie, Lucy. Good girl. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. You want to go get in the warm? There we go. Good girl. One more cookie for Mama. There you go. Very nice. There we go. Mama and baby in their pen. Okay. Feed that baby. Yeah, feed your baby. All right, so that's how we take care of Lucy and the baby in the morning right now with the temperatures being as low as they are. Uh, my kids, me and my kids were all just really worried about leaving baby out at night, especially cause she's the only little one. If I think if we had at least her sister that, uh, we would have maybe been, um, a little bit more comfortable cause they could sleep together and they'd keep each other warm. But, um, anyway, something else that we've been dealing with here at the very first of this kidding season is lice, goat lice. Now, the wonderful blessing of goat lice is that they do not transfer to humans. Thank goodness. Uh, Lucy had them last year when she kitted. And uh, 
so it's, I don't know, it shows up in the winter. Might be because um, we're doing deep bedding and I don't know. Anyway, so we've taken care of the lice. We use a lice powder. And the great thing about the lice powder is, one, it works. It works fast. Within a day or two, they are lice free. And two, they, uh, I don't have to withdraw milk. So I don't have to worry about that either. So everything's going really good. Um, we're keeping that baby alive after having a stillborn and then having mama uh, suffocate the second baby. Uh, it's We're just so concerned about this third one. And so we're just doing the best we can. A couple more days in, of being inside at night. And then uh, we'll leave her out with mom full time. Uh, 24 hours, but she's out with mom now and we'll be with her all day and they they love that So that's where we're at right now Yeah, you probably shouldn't have dishes in there anyway No, don't eat the carpet No, <laughs> don't <laughs> Don't be attacked! What did I do? I'll get you. I'll get you. She circles around. Comes back. Well, it's pillows. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Do you want your friend? Are you growing? Is it itchy to grow? Or do we need to check it over? 